What's up, YouTube? This is Breb52, and welcome to my life now. Cold War Zombies came out on Thursday, and I played it for 24 hours straight. This map is a lot of fun. The Easter egg got unlocked uh, yesterday, and they solved it in like four hours. And uh, I've been trying to do it, and this is my third attempt, and you know what they say. Third time's the charm, so... Might as well record my awesome victory. This game is pretty awesome. Also, I skipped round five. I just stay in the starting room until round five. At the end of round five, you have enough to open to power. And since your starting pistol is, like, not shit anymore, you have no reason to leave. And also, you have, like, a billion ammo. Um, but I'd like to kind of, like, talk about this game because it's very interesting. A lot of people, including myself, when they first saw this, like, it, everyone got on Australian, Australia account on um thursday night or wednesday night i think because it, it launches early in australia because the time zone stuff so you could play it early and um they're talking yeah and i didn't like the footage i saw i got because I've, I've been so excited for this game i really really hoped it would be a great game and it is but when i first saw it i was like god damn it they did zombies dirty again i want to ease everyone's minds if you're a zombies fan if you're a huge fan of black ops 3 like i was and you saw the early gameplay especially i mean even right now it looks kind of silly there's a mini map i can fucking pull out my fists it feels very different and i want to ease everyone's minds this is not a shitty multiplayer port featuring zombies. This is a very, very singul singular experience, very streamlined, and this is a far more balanced and, I, I mean, I, that, that phrase is re more relevant now than ever. This is an extremely balanced and realized zombies mode, and it has the potential to be, like, fucking amazing. There's a ton of stuff, like, there's a dark matter for zombies, which thank god they did, and that is going to take forever to get. So there's a lot of grind heavy stuff. There isn't gobble gum, so all the people that hate microtransactions, ease your minds. And there's a lot put into this easter egg and all this questing. And there's tons of little side eggs. High rounds are going to be a lot of fun. There's crafting and shit. It's great. It's not Black Ops 3. I don't even think I wanted it to be Black Ops 3, but I might have. I love this game. So far, so far, I'm loving it. It takes a while to for you to realize the incredible potential here. It's great. Anyway, we just built Pack a Punch, which is actually pretty great. They walk you through that, which is awesome. And uh, I'm gonna be taking the Colt into the into the boss fight because I'm a, I'm a big Colt guy, and uh, it's actually a pretty decent gun. It's not the Mustang and Sally anymore. It's actually a bullet gun, but it's fairly decent. And also, we get a free wonder weapon anyway, so it's whatever. Uh, yeah. We are just waiting for the zombie, and right now, all we're doing... Actually, no, we are not waiting for a zombie, because I can get all the ether scope parts. Um, also, this Easter egg is not that complicated. It's uh, fairly... It's not easy. Or maybe it is easy, but it's not simplistic. It's, it's a very singular... Singular, singularized experience. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's a great Easter egg. It's very well realized. Um, and there's a lot of potential per for, for perfection and optimization. Um, and without the inclusion of gobble gums to make, get broken shit, I think this is going to be a pretty great year for zombies. Easter egg speedrunning and also zombies in general. I can't wait for the DLC cycle for this game. I guess we're just going to kill you. Um, right now we're just waiting for the ether portal, and we are getting all the ether scope parts. And I'm also going to kind of start doing the upgrades. Um, but until I can do that, I need to have the damn wonder weapon, which we can get by at least round 8 or 7, depending on when the big guy spawns. Okay, dog around here. And it plays like zombies too. And the gunplay and gameplay in general really satisfying gameplay loop Sa satisfaction has never been a um a bullet point in a zombies game it's all about 
innovation and replayability. That's the terms everyone throws around. All of a sudden, gameplay and, yeah, I guess it'd be gameplay satisfaction is a bullet point, and it's the best thing this game has going for it. This game feels awesome to play, and there's no floor. That's a side effect of PC. Yeah, the, the graphics will just come and go. That's fine. All right, round seven. Let's hope we get lucky here. Hi, Jug. All right. Yeah, we got him. Okay, so he's. We got to get him to shoot this, and then we're gonna kill him. And right now we're just kind of saving up for pack a punch. He's a little bit annoying, but we'll forgive him. You shoot this for me, bud. He was aiming. He didn't quite hit it, though. Alright, you got it. We just need that sitting there for when we get the... The flask. That's for a... That's for a wonder weapon upgrade. Not quite an easter egg step, but I guess it is. Yeah, it is. It, it's technically... Like, because you need the upgrades for the easter egg, so... I'm gonna take that immediately back. This guy can be a little of a bit of a bitch, but you really gotta focus on like weapon rarity and shit. If not, this guy can be a bullet sponge, and he accelerates with the rounds pretty drastically. So if you're if you're using a shitty gun, you're gonna be having a hard time here. But just don't use a shitty gun, I guess. That's the solution to that. And I just upgraded the rarity of my starting pistol earlier, so we're able to deal with him a little bit easier. And it's not just shitty starting weapon now. And that also completely exonerates the use of hitting the box. You upgrade through a different rarity than points, so it's not quite like broken. Because like you're not you're not guaranteed to get it. I have attachments on my starting pistol that increase the drop rate of this material, so it's actually kind of cool and sick. Um, which only which is what only something that the Colt has. So yeah, another thing the Colt has going for it. That might make it like a a good thing for Easter eggs. At least, as far as I know, only the cult has it. I haven't actually looked, but I've heard. I've heard through the grapevine. Okay, yeah, these guys can be a bit of a bitch without armor. I didn't quite have enough to buy the armor, so it's fine. Gotta make sure we don't kill last two. Because we can do quite a lot this round. Left. Make sure the zombie doesn't die. Headshots do a lot of damage too. A lot has changed about this that makes it feel fucking awesome. Headshots being one of them. Okay. Get the key card. He's bad on the tree. Get, uh, yeah. No. I don't quite have armor yet. I'll grab it once I go down there. But we need to get a thingy for the wonder weapon. Wunderweapon. Can't quite get it until next round because we need to feed zombies, but it's fine. We can do a lot of actually strike stuff. Okay, now we need to find this portal wherever it may be. Not sure. Actually, I can pack my weapon too. I should probably do that. Get armor. Not, oh, it's right there. Okay, we found it. Yeah, it always spawns at the... As you complete the Easter egg, more spots for it will show up. It's usually by the pond or down here. Or up at uh, Noct. Those three. Anyway, we have to find three parts in the Dark Aether. And we only have a limited time to do it. And they spawn in the same places every time, except they spawn one after another. So if we're unlucky, we won't get... Okay, we're, we got fucking lucky here. So that's number one. Spawns a bunch of dogs. I don't really want to deal with them because I kind of want to move, but I guess I'll kind of shoot at them. Pretend like I'm shooting at them, but I'm not caring about them at all. Alright, we can check number two here real quick. Um, No, it's not here. 
Hope we don't run, run out of time. Alright, so this should be here. Yep, it's here. Number two, more dogs. He's just despawned the old ones. That's handy, so I don't even have to shoot him at all if it just despawns them or something. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. I'm just gonna have a billion dogs on me after I pick this up. I guess I am. Alright. So we got all the parts easy, first try. Also, another thing, you don't unlock getting more revives in solo until uh, level 55. <laughs> so, uh, we're only playing with, like, two lives here. I get one chance. Where's this dog? Alright, I'm just... Probably... Respawn or something. I need to get that... F oh, I can't really do anything yet. Whatever. Um, okay, so we got the ether scope. We can do a lot now. Yeah, that was step one, building it. We haven't built it yet, but we got all the parts. We're building it now. There he is. Alright. Let's see the scope. Cyclotron. All right. Now we're looking for anomalies, which is like ghosts. Um, and they'll talk. We have to give them the book, and then they'll talk. Uh, we don't actually have to wait for them to finish to do the next one. There's three of them. We can just kind of do them all, and that'll complete the step. They give you like. Details about the background of this place. It's cool, I guess. But we don't have to listen. If you know what they say. Alright, that's all three. After he's the last one stopped talking, it should pull me out. And we can continue. After this, we're just pretty much focusing on the wonder weapons. I'm just gonna kinda chill here. And a cool thing that they did, if you're standing next to like an Easter egg thing, you'll get you'll get like um in plain sight, which is cool, because like in solo you always have to like train a fucking zombie around the whole time, which is a little bit annoying. But in solo they actually kind of let the zombies forget where you are a bit while you're listening to the Easter egg stuff. Not now because I'm not next to anything, but whatever. Oh, actually, nah, no, we already got it. Never mind. I was going to say we need to get him to puke on the tree since I didn't do it the way I did it this time last time, but yeah, we don't need to do that. We already did it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pull me out. Did I die? No, I didn't. Close. Got a bit stuck. <laughs> now we got to put the password in. That'll turn that bitch green. Cool. And now we need to get all the wonder weapon upgrades. So we got in there on here. Now there's something you don't see in your average evil Nazi secret bunker. So now we can play. That wasn't that bad. Got a lot done. Could be used to restore brain function and uh undead specimens. Yeah, okay. Whatever happened here, don't make a group. Kinda need to get jug. That's a plan. Next thing I'm using my points for. Anyway, our free die is in this room. You can kind of see it there. But what we need to do is turn it on and feed it kills. Because the thing with the wonder weapon, you like right click to suck zombies, it gives them ammo, and then left click to shoot. So you have to give it zombies to suck so that it fills its ammo, and then we can shoot it and it'll explode the door so we can go in and grab it. Pretty cool. It's not like fucking Mob of the Dead. I like Mob of the Dead, by the way, but it's not like Mob of the Dead where you s fucking throw a Hell's Retriever at Six secret skulls, and it magically spawns a blundergat on the warden's desk. It's I like mob, but that's I, I I'm appreciating 
this new attempt at realism. This seems... It's a very creative little step going on here. That was a weird fucking tangent I just went on, but whatever. We got it. Yep. Yeah. So now, we are gonna go get some upgrades going. Gotta shoot that box. Suck this canister. Not quite grabbing it. There it is. Okay, we need a dog and... No, oh, just a dog right now. Let's hope the portal's right here. It is. Okay. Let's grab a flask. Put it down. That's for one of the upgrades. Now we're going to take the dark ether. Get started on another upgrade. It's by far the easiest one once you know what to do. All you gotta do is go under here, melee that, pick up the fuse, run, run, run. Dodge this guy because he's dumb. Or get hit and get stuck. Or just block my way entirely. Get out of my melee. Alright. Yeah. Anyway, down here. Hit that. That's pretty much all we have to do. It's already done. Um. Next. I guess we can just still here. See if it immediately spawns back here. Yeah, it is. Okay, we need to use this. Um, tell you what, we're gonna get down to the end of the round here because I really don't want to deal with zombies right now. I don't really feel like going up to the surface, so we're just going to deal with them right now. We need ammo for the next step, though. Okay. Are you lost? No, you're not. i tell you what, we'll just take it now. They're kind of slow. Anyway. So now we need to find three crystals that always spawn in the same place, so this step's pretty easy, so long as you don't fuck it up. Which is why I made a point to killing those zombies and getting into the last, because you really are stretched for time here. But if you run the right way, it's, it's okay. We are going to get a boss zombie. Since after you complete some easter egg steps, or after, okay, after the first one spawns every time you go in the dark ether, he will, uh, be there. Anyway, here's the first one. This is the hard, the most out of the way one, so we're just gonna grab and go. Please don't hit me. Okay, fine, just shoot me, I guess. Away we go. That's cool. Okay. Pop it in there. Don't quite need to get that close, but I felt like being extra safe. Take this. This puts us like almost right next to the next one we need. Not quite on the right floor, but it's it knocked. And go this way and get it. Number two. I don't even know if I'll be able to get the next one. I had a plan of movement, but uh, I kind of fucked it up and went all improv. That's the next one we need right there. Hopefully we can make it back to it in time. I don't know quite how much longer we have, but I've been pretty fast so far. Okay, number two. See if we can get this last one before. No. Okay, that's fine. It should respawn just right back there. <clears throat> In, uh. Oh, like a round or so. That's fine. We're not exactly crunched for time here. Um. Right now. 
So we have, okay, we can feed it the upgrades that I have. Still need a dog. So yeah, we do we need to go around or so. Anyway. Here's one of the upgrades. It's fire. It shoots fireballs. You know what that means, don't you? It shoots fireballs. Yeah. Um this was the one that we got for picking up the fuse. Anyway, we're just gonna pop that guy in there. It's number one. This is why we need all the upgrades. We have to shoot all those things with each one. Anyway, what am I doing? Here's the next one. We only got about two of them, but it's fine. Cryo emitter. Yeah, alright. There's round. Is it back there? Not quite. We need to kill a bit more zombies. Do I have it's a thousand for the next one, right? Yeah. Actually, I'm not even gonna go for a second armor until I have my rare Colt. Okay. So we're gonna kind of wait until we get a dog here. We need the dog for the uh, canister one. You have to kill a dog next to something. Alright. So I need to kind of craft some other shit I'm going to need. For the boss fight, that is. We're honestly kind of almost done. Like on the last bit. There's a lot of like... There's a lot more steps, but they're very small short steps that you can do very easily. Okay. Didn't quite get one this round, but we're going to do the last crystal anyway. I need a... Uh, I need the basic one. Freeze won't to uh, suck it up. It'll suck it up, but it won't shoot it quite the way we want. So we're gonna take this back and then grab the starting one. Perfecto. Uh, as soon as you get a jug, I do that. Like right now, as soon as I get up there again. Let me go ahead and hop in here. This is like the fucking upside down, complete with weird fungus and flora going on here. Not quite accurate with the jellyfish, but like all the particles in the air. Looks very similar. Hey, buddy. Let me just grab Jug. And squeeze on by. I think we can get stamina up next. Right. This is the best one, by the way. This one. This is, like, fucking broken. And it melts. This guy. This right here. Here. Demonstration. A demonstration. Shit's absurd. It's fun, though. Yeah, he just explodes. Not worth my time. Okay. There we go. All we need left is a hellhound. Or, you know, plague hound. So, I'm just gonna kinda do rounds, be able to get points and scrap so I can upgrade my shit. Very close to having my rare one. Um, an overall point in. You know. 
I'm gonna do armor first, I think. We're only gonna go in with a rare, since you use this weapon a lot in the boss fight. Like, literally 100% of the time. So, there's really no real point in going up to rare for my cult. Hey, buddy. Carpenter, that's cool. Goodbye, jellyfish. All right, you're looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Hopefully, we get a hellhound soon, because. I don't want to do this Easter egg really quickly. I'm not going to set up on that wing forever. You can. You can get the Nova 5 upgrade. And then, like, I was playing with, my, you know, my boys Dylan and Kevin. And uh, what we did was just... <laughs> we all got the Wonder Weapon. And I had Nova 6. The rest, I... Well, and then we... I would occasionally shoot down the Nova 6, and that hurt zombies, and then we could just suck them, and that hurt zombies, and we were all sucking so much, and firing all the time, it's just broken entirely. And I don't know how soon these new Wonder Weapons drop off, I know the basic one drops off at 35, pretty shit, but it's a cool Wonder Weapon. These, these variants are probably, I'm guessing, gonna last a little bit longer than 35. And everyone knows the ray gun is broken, but I'm not gonna bother hitting the box or doing challenges for it. Because what I got going on is good enough for me. Uh, what am I doing? It's speed, I guess. There we go. That's what I was gonna do. Armor. Have another big guy. Opportunity to melt him, so that's cool. More XP. I already got my elite kills. Camo, so no. no point in using the cult for level based purposes. Where is he? He's coming from the south. No, he's right here. Minimap tells me things. Not quite gonna deal with him because we gotta get them the horde here. Dude, that is just broken. I thought I melted them at round 20. Melt them at round 11 even faster. Ah, Lee. That is ridiculous. Wow, that guy lasted not even like two seconds. <laughs> it's fun though. I don't like pumping bullets into boss zombie for forever. I don't think anyone does. Alright, once we get that grand of scrap, we'll be able to get. Oh, there it is. I can uh, just kind of forget about my cult here. Except for pack lunch. Perfect. Got a dog around here. Alright. I just need one of you assholes. Yeah, man. Oh, God. Should be good. Mm, these guys can be a bitch sometimes. Uh, I think we're just gonna save a dog this round. Because we can do a lot, and I really don't feel like ending this round. Despite. I don't know. Forget what I was gonna say. Just forget it. Um. Right. I have what I need. I don't remember to go. Right here. That's right. Nova five. Well, if that's anything like its sister, Nova six, make sure to put that thing away from you when firing. 
Thank you for the tip. Okay. Actually, no, we can't. Oh, I can. Because maybe I'll be able to... Uh... Oh, we didn't kill him. <gasps> yes. No. Okay. We need to wait for a big guy anyway. I didn't quite have the foresight to save those guys. Actually, no, we don't need to save it yet. We have to do the baby shit. That's right. Anyway. We gotta watch these guys talk, and hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate the in-plane sight effects. Yeah, look, they're all running away from me. Even the boss zombie will do it, because he spawns. It's cool. Nice little touch there. Oh. Wait, what? Is he below? He's on the mini-map. Maybe he's above. I forget what to do after this kind of... Oh, right, yeah, the tank. That's not that bad. We're going to save one, though, because it can be a bit of a bitch. Get the wrench. Uh, I don't have all the portals yet. Ooh, this might be a problem. We're good. I always forget to use that thing. Much like in Black Ops 3, every time I have implant sight on, I always forget that I have it and I just die for no reason. I'm gonna make a point of remembering to use that thing because it's actually pretty helpful and it's on like a recharge. So there's no point in not using it whenever I feel like it. Um, I switch rain and spawn because what we gotta do next is here. Actually, I'll kind of do it while whilst they're spawning. Bop. Beep. Bop. Hey, zombie. Ooh. No. We're good. No, we're not. Oh, my God. That was silly. <laughs> Zombie's dead. Okay. Actually, I can just do it. Is that close enough? I'll throw another one for good measure. No, I missed. Whatever. Let's just hope it counted. All right. Yeah, armor saves your ass in this game a bunch. It's awesome. Yeah, we got it. We'll spawn a bunch of dogs here. Um, and my armor's broken. That's not good. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. As long as I regen my health. Don't quite have quick arrive yet, but it's fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Throw it in! <sighs> it's real funny, real funny. Should have saved one. That was my one quick revive. Not like it counts, because in the boss fight you lose your jug if you down. I'm just gonna not down. I guess that's the plan. I can't quite put this thing in. Long way here. <clears throat> there it is. Oh, right, right. Now we need to feed again. Okay. I wonder if I can use... No, 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 because they need to be split. And they don't split, so... Yeah, we actually do need to wait for a run base, dude. Thank you. I need to buy my perks back. I don't even have a quick arrive anymore. That's a lesson. Always buy quick arrive. It's so out of the way. I always forget to, but it's kind of important. I need to but that being said, I'm not going to not buy Quick Arrive and instead buy a different perk, even though I could buy Quick Arrive. That'd be your life. Now we're gonna buy it. 
Think about all my points because these perks get expensive, which is a detail that I don't really hate. I don't really love at the same time. It's just kind of there. And I... Just the way it is, man. Should be like, yeah, very expensive. Since it's my fourth perk. Alright. I don't know if I really want to give a shit about the other perks, because they do get really expensive. And... I mean, we're not that pressed for time, but... I kind of want to go in really, relatively quickly. Gotta wait for a round guy, anyway. Hound. Play hound. While well, it's packed. Okay, so that's the packed one I need. I still need crits. Crit kills, and then I have gold on the Colt. One camo left. It's really cool the way they did, um... You know, Dark Matter, because I'm pretty sure... I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure all you have to do is the camos, but there's also, like, weapon mastery shit. I don't know how that works, but you have to get all the camos, get a bunch of kills, which you usually get from doing the camos anyway, and then um, max out the level of your weapon. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, crits are basically headshots, just get a bunch of high side kills. That is at least 15. It's a weird quote. I mean, you can pretty much do the Easter egg like, run after that. Kinda. There's one little baby, baby step to activate the boss fight, but everything else is ready. Um, I'm gonna go for my double pack, and then any points I've left over, I'll get like elemental pop, I guess. I really have no reason to care about Deadshot. Unfortunately. It's a grind shame. Oh, hey, there he is. Alright, we're gonna end the round here, buddy. Don't you worry, I got ideas with you. For you. Okay, okay. Plague hounds. Uh, buddy. And they don't spawn very frequently, which is something I have to appreciate. Like on, uh... Something like the Rising Drug, where... The Easter Egg's pretty, um... Or, uh, rather, high rounds. Yeah, map in general can be pretty easy. Once you have, like, a bow. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with easy. Um, the dogs can be a bit annoying, because in the later rounds, they spawn so frequently, every time you kill, like, a horde. You got them coming in, and it's so hard to get them and weed around, like, the zombies and stuff, because they always run in the horde, and they're so fast, and they'll pop your Widow's Wine nades. They can be a bit of a bitch. But Plague Hounds are not very frequent. Okay, they did like a round 40 thing, at least, you know, to round 40, they weren't that bad. I'm planning on doing like a high round with the ray gun at some point. Anyway, let's take this guy down. We have enough for a double pack, that's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Right, bud? Where are you? I demand you be here. Oh, shoot me all you want, bud. I gotta get him to stand on that, and then pop him, and it'll suck up his two halves, and he'll become like a good guy. Ooh, let's not kill the zombie though, because I really don't want this round to end. Actually, I don't really need to kill him on it, and just kind of pop him, and then have them walk onto it without the danger of killing the zombie. Come here, boys. Right there. Get on it. There you go. No, 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 no. Don't pop my armor. I just fucking bought it. There's one. Over here, over here, over here. Get in it. 
There it is. Okay. It ended the round. It didn't end the round before. Whatever. Um. I should probably go for the perks, honestly. So one more round is fine. Okay. So he'll um be in the darkness. We can't quite find him. He's shown somewhere down in like the the big spinny room where Pack Munch is. Um, but we can't find him because he's hiding in the darkness. But what we, what we want you to do is lure him with like a something. I don't know. Doesn't really make sense. But what you got to do is come to Noct, and there should be another Ether Portal. Yeah, right here. And then there'll be another anomaly right there. And we get to see the awesome in plain sight shit that they added again. I love it. Anyway, this guy talks for a fucking long ass time. I'm just gonna kind of train him and progress because it's just. I should have enough for my level 3 armor. I think it's 250. I'm going to cut through here, see if I can upgrade my armor, and then get Elemental Pop on my way out. Yeah, that was right. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I was going to double hack. That was silly. It's fine. We got it. Yeah, we're fine. Whatever. I'm not going to get dead shot. It's way too expensive. Alright. Well, let's mount this guy. Yeah, those headshots, man. It's nuts. That is so stupid. <laughs> Maybe I'll get enough for that shot, you know? You never know. Perfect max ammo timing, honestly. Um, I don't think I have enough for dead shot, and so whatever. I'm just gonna delve back and start this shit. Yeah, I need to get a modifier anyway. So let's still pack that. Get dead wire, because I'm a fan. And then, the second we pick up this thing over here, we're in the boss fight. And hopefully I will remember to use my little ability down there because you recharge it really quickly because, um, you know, it's tough. You, you get surrounded really quickly, so it's very helpful. Anyway, we got to defend this guy. He's going to be like, oh, I hate the people who did this to me. And then he asks you to protect him whilst he turns off the machine. We have to do it three times. Uh, the first time he goes over here, we'll chill here. Just kind of shoot. And then he'll go here. This is number two. That one's really hard. 
then the last one is right here. And then we have to do like an exfil thing where we have to dodge lasers. It's a bit of a tricky spot, but we'll be able to do it. Ooh. And we're gonna get some dudes spawning in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi. I need to get back up there. Kinda don't wanna die here. Wow, there are a lot. That was like four that I just split and killed. I need to defend him. I got you. Okay. I got you. Just wrap it up. Nice and quick. Alright. The first one. Move, move, move. This one. Fucking hell. It's not even really a really safe place to spawn. Can you come here? I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this. I had to, like, run around. And this is where I died last time. And I lost my jug. Um, but I made it to the last one. I just died on the very last one because I'm a dumbass. I guess I can kind of just do this. But they walk up there, too, so... Ooh, let's melt that guy. He's gonna be a bitch. Stop. Stop right there. Ooh, ooh let's not die. I'm just gonna do that real quick. Because that was very low. I can't. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Whoopsie. That's a problem. Suck them. This is a big, shitty little situation we got going on here. Okay. This is terrible. Alright, we're not gonna die here. He just kind of pauses it. He won't actually die, I'm pretty sure. I, I hope not. I need to pick up. I need to kill one. That's, there's it. Alright, no. They, they drop ammo. They drop little ammo caches. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I got you. And they actually kind of thin out a bit. There's a big push at the start, but yeah, it's better. Yeah, there's like not as nearly as much anymore. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> they even stop spawning. Wow. There we go. And then at the very bottom, we got one more. And actually, get pretty close to you here. It can be a bit of a tricky thing here. I, we're gonna try to survive above all else in this one. Okay. You are going to get real close and unfortunately comfortable here. Yeah, back up, back up, back up. Listen, man, I got shit going on over here. You're fine. You're still alive, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was really scary. Okay. What now? 
Do I okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave before this shit spawns. Okay. <sighs> okay. This is the end. Oh, I'm leaving. I need them to spawn so I don't run into one of them. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's move. I'm here. I'm here. Hurry up. It's not on the ground. Lies and slander. That's it? Holy shit. I actually beat it. I complete the main quest in D Machine. Wow. Does that count as a successful expo? Damn, was that like a world record or something? That was really quick. I mean, I didn't speed run it exactly, but I was very optimal. Only, yeah, under an hour. I mean, maybe that's good. I don't know. <laughs> wow. That was great. I love that egg. It's really, well, it's a little, little dinky one. But it's, um, it's a nice little challenge. Not not exactly challenge, but it's, it, no, not, not everyone could do it, I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, I died twice, so. Maybe I'm just shit. Yeah, what is this? Dark matter. Oh, so yeah, this is how you get dark matter. But it says here, mastery, diamond camo from. Oh, because we get diamond by. By. Diamond right here. Gold camo for all three pistols, and we get gold. Which is, I guess, master. But doing all this. Or maybe it's just. This, this gold, yeah. No, golden viper. I may, I don't know, maybe it's the same thing, I don't know. But I'm one away, look how close that is. It's this asshole, right here. 400 kills out of crits. Anyway, I'm sure I'll get it on my own time. That was great, I loved that. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment, just think, and remember, stay gamer.